the big picture right down to the smallest detail, the guru is here to help. So in this second section, we'll get down to the real nitty gritty. Biological molecules. What exactly are they? Everything in the whole universe, every molecule and every known compound is made up of varying combinations of the same 112 chemical elements. Everything. To understand what happens inside all living things and why it happens, we study molecules. Biological molecules are the molecules that living organisms are made of. And they include carbohydrates, fats, which are sometimes called lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Those are the main biological molecules. You need to study their, their structures, the atoms that they're made of, and the way those atoms are arranged within the molecule. And you also need to study their functions, what they actually do within the living organism, how they interact with each other. Biological molecules are based on a very small number of elements, the most important being carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. These elements link up to build similar small molecules called monomers. There are three important biological monomers, amino acids, monosaccharides and nucleotides. Larger complex molecules called polymers are formed when two or more similar monomers link up by condensation. But not all large molecules are made by the linking of identical small units. In these cases, we use the more general term, macromolecules. There are four types of macromolecules that make up living organisms. Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and nucleic acids. In this program, we'll look at carbohydrates and at proteins. On the web, you'll find all you need to know about lipids and nucleic acids, including the official defense of fat in all its tasty, buttery glory. Here's an introduction to carbohydrates. When you watch the next clip, make a note about properties of a particular carbohydrate, cellulose. The basic materials which make up living things are no different from those in the inorganic world. 